And so we can take another look at an example. This is actually number 19 in the uh, section 6.3 homework, and I've worked some of it already. Uh, we're trying to minimize the function c equal 2x plus 10y subject to the system of linear inequalities. And, and what I've done is first thing I'm trying to do is to graph my linear inequalities, and I've done that by putting it in slope intercept form. And so I uh, graphed y greater than or equal to negative 5 halves x plus 20. Um, the y-intercept is 20, so that crosses the y-axis at 20. And we go down 5 and to the right 2, and we drew our line through those two points. Do the same thing with y greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 10. Crosses the y-axis at 10. And the slope is negative 1 half, so we go down 1 and to the right 2, and we drew a line through those two points. And then we also need to pay attention to the y greater than or equal to 3. Uh, you know, typically we don't have to worry about that because we've already got those lines drawn if it's x greater than or equal to 0 and y greater than or equal to 0 because those, that is our x and y axis. But this time we have y greater than or equal to 3 and that's a horizontal line going through the y-axis at y equal 3, so we drew that line as well. And then we want to see where each of our graphs intersect. And so we need to, you know, we have to shade um, above and to the right of y greater than or equal to negative 5 halves x plus 20. Shading above the line negative 1 half x plus 10 and also shading above y greater than or equal to 3 and where they intersect and you want to go back and verify this on your own they intersect in the orange area which is unbounded meaning that we will not have a maximum we're trying to minimize this anyway so we're not really interested in the maximum even if it had one uh, so our Step two is to find all the vertices. And again, it's important to, to graph very carefully, have some graph paper so you can find exactly what those points are. Uh, and we also said that we can use the process of elimination or substitution to find the intersection of any two given lines. Uh, but our vertices should be 0, 20, 5, and that should be 15 halves not seven halves, and then 14 comma three. And so now we will substitute these values into our function. Ten times 20 is 200. And for our second vertex, uh, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 15 over 2 is 75. So 10 plus 75 is 85. And then finally, we're trying 14 comma 3. And that is 28 plus 30 which is 58. 58 is our minimum. That's our smallest value. And if they ask for the x values also, c is 58. If they ask for the x and y values, of course, x and y values are from your vertex, which would be 14 and 3. 